What's going on, people? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Saeed TV. And we've got a special video for you today. As you know, Joshua Zerksky is going to become a Manchester United player in the next, what, could be announced by now. Who knows? And we're here with a Bologna fan. Can you believe it? I told you guys, I deliver on this channel. We have Tommy Sport here with me today. My brother, how are you? You okay? Fine, thank you. Thanks for inviting me to let me talk about this fantastic player because you have signed the one of the best player, in my opinion, that uh, you can you could possibly sign. Wow, wow, that's already a great start. That's already a great start. So make sure, guys, to subscribe to the channel. Make sure you're liking the video. And yeah, by the way, before we start, um, congratulations on a very, very good season. You know, um, Thiago Mota. I know he's left, but. You guys have done amazing. Like, how how proud of you of, of of right now of being a Bologna fan? You know, Champions League football now. It's amazing, isn't it, for you guys? Yeah, I've been a Bologna fan since uh, I've born. So we struggled a lot during my lifetime. Let's say mm. uh, I've watched Serie B, so second league, two times uh, and uh, for multiple years. Mm. And uh, now being in the Champions League, it's like a dream. When we we had the news uh, that uh, was one night uh, when um, Atalanta didn't uh, and uh, Roma drew, we were all in the in the main square of the city celebrating, uh, and uh, the atmosphere was uh, was amazing. It's like uh, a, a dream coming true. Uh, I don't know how to 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 put it because uh, if for a team like us uh, that uh, for what we have been through we almost have disappeared from football also um 12 years ago because of financial problems now being in champions league and have uh, a uh, stable uh, let's say financial situation thanks to our owner saputo it's amazing mm, absolutely and you know tiago motto i know he's left but how big of a job was he? Like, how instrumental was he for you guys last season? Tiago Mata was a really good coach. Uh, was mm. a really good coach, but also the staff of, the, of Tiago Mata was one of the best staff I ever seen uh, in uh, in Bologna because uh, uh, the, the 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 way they 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 they, um, they they start to elaborate the matches, they analyze the the opponents uh, was amazing. Mm. The, the 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 main thing about Tiago Mata was that. He changed the, the the formation based on the opponent and mm. uh, in a very effective way, mm. so that uh, they counter the attacks of the opponents, but at the same way they try to um, to score uh, mm. in a, in an in efficient way, not just uh, like passing the ball. They adapt. Let's mm. say that uh, I, I would def uh, the definition of the football of Thiago Mata is adapting to the opponent let's say mm, absolutely absolutely and you guys were refreshing last season you know amazing amazing season i know we talk about some of your players you know but were you wh where was your kind of ambitions last year did you think ever champs league football was well where were you thinking bologna would reach with tiago motto last season did you have a prediction top 10 i uh... I had faith in Thiago. I had faith in Thiago and the team. Uh, I thought Conference League would be possible, uh, so European football, but okay. not Champions League at all. Oh, that's we crazy. start believing that after we we won uh, in uh, in uh, in Rome against Rome three uh, one. That mm. was the time, like when uh, when we when we start believing that it was possible to go to Champions League. And guess who scored on that day? Joshua Joshua Zex he scored on that day. Yeah. So it's uh, it's funny, isn't it? It's a funny old story, man. But how how are you feeling? Obviously, he's gonna leave the football club. Um what was your initial thoughts, by the way, when you hear the news he's going to be leaving? You know, first of all, it was AC Milan, but you know, just in general, how was your kind of overall feeling? Like, were you sad? Were you kind of like, you know, like talk to me? Uh, it's mixed feeling because um, all, um, we were attached to the player. We we loved him uh, that much, but we knew that uh, for uh, his growing up and uh, for letting us uh, as well growing up because of uh, we needed money uh, to to spend on the market uh, was a good uh, was a good thing to to let him go. 
and to let him uh, grow as a player and uh, imp more importantly as a human being because uh, the thing that you have to know about uh, Joshua Zierz is just uh, not that he's just a player but he's uh, an amazing uh, um, human being for for the for the team that helps uh, the team to develop also in uh, um in a let's say in another way so he's really determined to to reach the goals uh and uh, he communicates a lot with the teammates and he creates an ama amazing atmosphere in the um, in the locker room so that is the most important thing about him mm, absolutely and you know last season he scored i think um, 11 goals in the Serie A yeah. one goal in the Coppa Both. Italia yeah. so not a prolific season but what do you think the qualities? What made you kind of like fall in love with him in terms of you said that connection? Like, what qualities do you admire about him in terms of his game and his overall game? What talk to me? What can the United fans expect from Joshua Zerxi? Um, it's a different type of um, offensive player, let's say, because he attacks uh, uh, in a very different way. He he he, he tried to have the ball as much as possible in his feet to create chances also for the. Uh, for the um, for the teammates, uh, we talked a bit previously about the uh, the game in Roma against uh, Rome. The, for example, he scored, but he also delivered a very amazing assist, one of the best assists that I've ever seen in my life for uh, Salamakers, because it was a one touch uh, assist. He, he he got the ball and he passed immediately in the space for Salamakers, and that was a, a smart move for him. So. Mm. It's a kind of player that holds uh, that um, he, he chooses also uh, the, 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 the best thing for the team in the right moment. So he moves around, uh, he lets the players move around him and he creates the chances for, the, for, the, for, uh, his, uh, for each teammate. It's like a playmaker uh, if you compare okay. it maybe to, to basketball, that is another passion of, uh, of Joshua Zierz. He has a, a lot of passion, he has a lot of passion for, for basketball. And he has that Kobe mentality, that Mamba mentality that uh, gave him uh, the strength for all uh, all the season to reach the, the targets, like I said before, but also to um, help the others to reach the target with him. Uh, so it's a leader. He, he, he was a leader in the in the Bologna locker room, and I think in Manchester he could uh, um, he can he can bring this type of mentality. It's another type of football, the, the Premier League, of course. But uh, he, if he can adapt to Premier League in um, in a, like in the way of thinking, so the uh, fastest way of thinking, uh, he can be really really successful uh, for for Manchester United. Mm. That's what I've noticed with him. He's um, in terms of connecting the play. He's amazing, getting in the little pockets, you know, and 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 helping other players. I think that's what I think I'm most excited about. For me personally, because yeah. we had that sort of play with maybe, I don't know if you know Martial, but he was similar in the way he come and maybe collect the yeah. ball and receive it. You know, that that's the qualities, I think. In terms of technically as well, do you think he's got the ability to adapt to the Premier League as well? Like, no problem. On the ball, very, very one-touched, you know. It, technically, yeah. do you think he's amazing? Like, one of the best you've seen? Like, how have you been, how have you been impressed with him? I think it's the best I've seen in Bologna for my in my life. Uh, the, I, I I was born after the year after Roberto Baccio uh, came to Bologna, so I didn't have the opportunity to to watch uh, Roberto Baccio with Bologna shirt. But uh, uh, a lot of people that watched Bologna that uh, watched Bologna's uh, Baccio told me that uh, Zirze was that kind of player uh, that uh, makes the difference. And uh, has a really good uh, technical ability, and uh, he's amazing. Like, uh, trust me, you will have a lot of fun with these plays. Mm. And uh, but uh, as well, you have to be patient because mm. maybe in the in the first months uh, he's gonna have to adapt to English football that is really different. The way of thinking, the tacticals in Italy, we are more tacticals than uh, in the mm. in the yeah, UK. Yeah. Uh, approaching the match, uh, especially, uh, but uh, he, I think, is gonna have a great time there to deliver to the, especially to the to the to the other players in the first month, mm. because maybe he's not gonna score a lot because he scores, uh, he scores because he can score, but uh, in a different way. It's not that type of striker like um, I don't know 
the, the typical uh, Holland, uh, Holland. yeah it's not Holland uh, uh, it's not the uh, it's not Ireland as well it's the it's really different so you will uh, so you, so your manager gonna have a lot of uh, options to choose uh, for for the formation and I think this is really good for a, a club like Manchester that has to uh, to 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 become again what it was in the past mm. Absolutely. You you think he works well in a in a two or he can play on his own? Can he play in a two or one or which is better for him? He can play in two, but he also can play in, on his own. Uh, it's different type. If uh, he plays uh, with two striker, he can create chance for the other striker. But if he, he plays alone, the all the attacks and uh, the wings can uh, revolve around him, and uh, yeah. he can create chance a lot for the wings. So yes. I would expect a lot of assists if he plays alone for the wings, uh, and uh, that the, the, the key moment, uh, the key moment of the game is when he comes to 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 search for the ball near the midfield, so that the midfielders can uh, can enter the the the, the last meter of the uh, of the attacking phase, mm. and they can score. So it's uh, he, he tries to 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 create space for the others. Yeah, so we have Rashford. You said there, Bruno Fernandes will go maybe around him. And yeah, yeah. You, know, you, you guys had, um, you know, Endoy playing. Endoy, maybe. Uh, Salemakers, Ferguson. Yes, but, uh, I think it's gonna be uh, a target in the Premier League in the next. Yeah, year yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. He had a good Euros to be fair, Endoy for Switzerland. Yeah, you know, and I think yeah. United will link with him. I think ultimately, you know, so. Are you the, the, even the fee as well? The release clause. AC Milan were very close to buying him. Like, are you happy he's not going to AC Milan and he's going of to course. United? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, of course, I didn't yeah. want it at home. Like, I didn't want it in Italy. I want him to go, um, to go, go to go abroad. abroad. Yeah. In Italy, we'd say lontano dagli occhi, lontano dal cuore. That it means uh, um, far from the eyes, far from the heart. Like, uh, uh, you, 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 I so, like that. So you, you you don't see if you if you don't see you don't bleed from the heart. <laughs> exactly, it's true. You so know, it's true. Uh, when I when I when I heard about United, I was happy because I know that financially United had the possibility to sign him, and mm. also the key for the signing uh, for Josh Gleizer, like. Uh, uh, if I understand correctly, was the was the agent of the player because yes. uh, there was a big commission to pay to him, and uh, you, Milan was not keen on uh, on paying mm. this commission, and the difference uh, was made by United by saying that to the to the agent, yes, of course, uh, no problem, fifteen million euros, it's not a problem for us. Yeah, yeah, that, I think that was the key thing, you know, because I think it was eight million we had to pay Kia Joe Rapkin. I think he's called and we paid it you know and, and also we didn't play the release calls we have played i think over the release calls and then we're going to play over the years in terms of you know staggered payments so i think yes. it's um i'm happy i can't lie to you i'm very happy because we needed a different profile to a uh, say hoyland and a different you know someone who can just connect the play and you know that's what we needed for me so i'm excited about him he didn't play much of the euros but i think you know that's just because the manager has other ideas and whatnot yeah. and, you know he's but I think ultimately, I'm just kind of glad we've got him. And, you know, I'm, I'm thankful. I really am that you guys have given us to him. But I'm just excited by the way you're talking about him, you know, and the way you've kind of spoke about him is is amazing, you know. So that's that's key for me because, you know, we don't want a player who, you know, doesn't want to come here. He's been very, very keen, you know, to come here or whatnot. So I'm excited. I can't lie to you, United fans. I'm very, very much excited by this signing. Um, and the way he's spoken about him is is it's been an excellent, you know. And yeah, I'm I'm looking forward to it. The way he's spoken about him, yeah, I'm gassed. I'm gassed. I'm sure he'll come back, Tommy, uh, sport. But yeah, the way he's spoken about, and also the way we've kind of looked at him right now, United fans, is that um, it's uh, yeah, I think Tommy's back here now. Tommy, yeah, can sorry. Hear us? No, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. My it's connection okay. went off. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, don't worry. Um, I wanted to quickly ask you about um, Calafiori. You know, what's the latest yeah. with him? Is is he leaving? Is he going to stay? What's the latest with Calafiori? He asked for leaving. So yeah. they, they, are gonna, they are in talks with uh, Arsenal. We had the good... Uh, 
good relationship with Arsenal that we created uh, in the last years, uh, yeah. especially for the uh, Tomiyasu affair. Uh, so I think it's going to go to Arsenal for uh, about 50 million, uh, 50 million uh, euros, not pounds. Okay. Uh, so it's going to be a, go- a big signing for Arsenal. Uh, and uh, big money for us also to invest in the for the team, but uh, he's really a good, uh, very very good player, world class player. I, I think. think so. Well, it's gonna yeah, be world class, future world class yeah. player. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. He has that attitude, you know, like uh, that. To he has the the spirit of a world class player to defend, but also attack, and. Mm. Uh, he, I think he can adapt really, really well to the Premier League the, mm. game. Uh, I watch a lot of Premier League because uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of football. So who doesn't yeah. uh, watch yeah. Premier League? It's the, like the peak, the peak uh, level of uh, uh, European football. So, so I think uh, he can adapt really, really well. And uh, it's going to be interesting, in my opinion, this season uh, uh, to see how the, the players that uh, uh, have played for Bologna uh, in Italy can adapt in a, in a very difficult uh, um, league like Premier League. Zirze, it's going to be maybe easier for him because um, I think that Manchester United uh, have a lot of faith in the player. Uh, so if, if, if he feels the faith, uh, it's going to be easier for him. Calafiori maybe in the first month will struggle more. But uh, mm. I think that has that type of attitude that uh, is going to lead to have to have him become the one of the uh, uh, greatest defender I think in uh, in Europe. Mm. Mm. No, it's, uh, I think I think what I've seen of him, he's um, he, he can play without play out the back very very comfortably, and he's such a smooth operator. So I think yeah, Arsenal fans are going to be you know they, I think they're going to be excited about that one. You know, it's big fee, yeah. but I think. Bologna deserve it, man, you know, uh, and ultimately, you know, you guys need the money to reinvest next season. And then, you know, who knows who you can go by? Have you got, have you got targets, by the way, that you want? Any targets that you guys are looking at? Bologna? Or... Uh, we are looking for a striker now to replace. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could give me one, but we don't have any left, you know. It's, it, it, uh... it's really difficult to find um, a good one. We we target the Hugo Duro from uh, Valencia, but also, for example, Juan Nidis for Panathinaikos. Uh, but oh. we have a lot of targets, but the biggest target is in defense because we are trying to sign uh, Mats Hummels. Oh, uh, wow. Yeah. Hummels. Yeah, yeah, Amazing. for the for the defense uh, and for so for the Champions League, uh, I think yeah. uh, it can be a good sign uh, for us. Wow. Uh, World class player, of course, he was one of the best of last year Champions League, and I really have my finger crossed because I like him a lot. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. I think it's um it's amazing. But no, I've enjoyed this chat. Um, Tommy, any last words on on Joshua Xerxes? Any last words to the United fans? You know, any kind of, like, you know, things you want to say before we wrap up? Uh, have patience because uh, he's a really uh, talented player. He, he's going to surprise you a lot with his plays. He's going to amaze you a lot. Uh, he's going to uh, make you think that uh, he can be the type of player that makes the difference for your team. Just have patience in the first month because... He has to adapt to your type of football, but I think you have found a new prince in uh, in, uh, in Manchester, wow. uh, and uh, he's gonna be one of the best uh, uh, in your team, I think. So just wow. uh, just wait, wait for him. He's wow! Coming. No, I appreciate appreciate Tommy. Thank you very much uh, for joining us. If let them know where they can find you if you want to see more. Stuff I'll be I'll be tuning into Bologna next season in terms of Champions League. You guys are gonna be my new team in Italy now. So <laughs> you know what I mean? Big up to you. Let them know where they can find you on social media. Uh, I have a YouTube channel named Tommy Sport where I post my reaction to the game. Uh, so yeah. I usually go to all the uh, home games, but also next week, uh, next year I try to go to all uh, the away games, especially wow. Champions League. 
And I have an Instagram page if you want to follow me there as well. It's called Tommy Spark. Brilliant, brilliant. Thank you, guys. Guys, I hope you've uh, benefited from this. I hope you've, you've, you know what I mean? Listen, I don't think there's anybody on the internet right now that's got a Bologna fan talking about Joshua Zerski. So, guys, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on the next one. Joshua Zerski is going to become a Manchester United player. We're out.